I am definitely not an expert on relationships or anything in that realm. However, I do think there are some basic don't do's that are just kind of common sense. Like if you do this, it will blow up your relationship, guaranteed. And this guy hits almost all of them. Yeah. And it gets him arrested. Wow. Good job, you. Let's go to court. This is in the District Court of Butler County, Kansas case entitled State of Kansas versus Patrick Terrell Smith, case number 2024 CR 163. Smith appears in the office of his attorney, James Watts, and Bernoris appears on behalf of the state. This matter comes before the court at this time for pretrial conference. Mr. Watts, what announcement is made at this time? Your Honor, after discussion with my client and with the state, it's my understanding my client would enter a guilty plea this morning to a amended charge of domestic violence battery, a B misdemeanor. At time of sentencing, which I presume we would do this morning, the state would be recommending and pursuant to plea, we would join a six-month underlying sentence, a 12-month period of probation with court services with the usual conditions that would also include the domestic violence assessment, and any recommendations that flow from that assessment, uh, the normal costs, fines, and fees, uh, no contact with the victim or her children. Um, the state had also noted that there is a restitution figure they are seeking of $864.08. That was for uh, some uh, treatment and therapy since the incident. My client does not object to that figure. All right, very well. Ms. Norris, has Mr. Watts announced consistently with your understanding as to how this Smith case would be handled? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Importantly, Mr. Smith, um, I've got some questions I need to ask you uh, regarding the taking of a misdemeanor plea. Uh, I want to make sure that I can hear you. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. Uh, so far, so good. I'll go ahead and begin my questions. Mr. Smith, it's the court's understanding that your case would be resolved by you pleading to an amended charge of domestic violence battery, a class B misdemeanor. Is it indeed your intention to accept conviction for that lesser offense? Yes, Your Honor. All right. You understand the possible penalties for a class B misdemeanor in Kansas generally are, is up to a $1,000 fine and up to six months in the county jail or both? Yes, I'm aware, Your Honor. All right. If you're entering a guilty plea, I want to ask you about what happened here. According to the state's charging document, this all took place around April 11 or April 12 of 2024. Is that when it happened? Correct. Mr. Smith, where did it happen at? Uh, it happened at the victim's place at her house. Where is that? What, uh, what city? Uh, El Dorado, Kansas. I'm sorry. All right. All right. And it involved... Uh, Someone by the name of Nadia Simon, correct? Yes, Your Honor. What was her relationship to you at the time? Uh, we was in a sexual relationship, and uh, we was working at the same employment. All right. All right. Uh, according to the state's charging document, you did something physically to her. What did you do, Mr. Smith? Uh I grabbed her to get her off of me after she attacked me when I told her I was leaving and had someone on her way to pick me up that night. Because okay. she came over to my house, woke me up around 8.30, 9 o'clock that night to go back to her house to, to have sex. And then when we got to her house to have sex, it was like close to 9.30. And she, she has two children. And so she still had to put them to bed. And then the state was on their way over there to my understanding the following morning, which she didn't want me there when the state got there the following morning. So she wanted me to leave at like seven in the morning and I didn't have a vehicle. And so I called my ride as soon as I told her I wasn't spending the night to have another person, either my other girlfriend and or my brother to come and pick me up. And she didn't like that. And she slammed the door, told me I wasn't going nowhere, hit me across the face with the phone. I grabbed her arms, pushed her up off of me. She fell on the couch. I got up and I went in the bedroom and I called my brother and I called my girlfriend both to try to come and get me and she wouldn't let me out. So I just wound up going to sleep on the couch. 
walk up. All right. A lot, of, a lot of detail there that I didn't necessarily need, Mr. Smith. Right. What I most focused on is what you did physically to her that would constitute a domestic violence battery. You understand that this uh, grabbing of her that you did is yes. what you're pleading to as a crime? Yes, Your Honor, I understand. All right. So do you now freely, knowingly, and voluntarily enter a plea of guilty and accept conviction for domestic battery, a Class B misdemeanor? Yes, Your Honor, I do. All right. Uh, the court finds that the defendant's been made aware of the possible penalties. There's a factual basis for the uh, offense, and it's a free and voluntary act on the defendant's part. The court will accept the defendant's plea of guilty and find him conviction and convicted of the lesser included offense pursuant to amendment of domestic battery, a class B misdemeanor. Court will proceed to sentencing at this time. First, I'll ask for recommendations from the state regarding an appropriate sentence. Ms. Norris. Thank you, Your Honor. State would be recommending six months in the county jail, 12 months court services, probation with all standard conditions. But the defendant complete the domestic violence offender assessment and follow through on any of those recommendations. State's not requesting a fine, assess the standard costs and fees of the action. The court will need to address court appointed attorney's fees and the bids application fee as Mr. Watts is appointed. Uh, there is restitution in the amount of $864.08. Uh, as that uh, no drugs, no alcohol while on probation, uh, that he gain and maintain employment and no contact with uh, the victim or her children. And that he report to court services uh, probation today. All right. Thank you, Ms. Norris. Mr. Watts, your recommendations regarding an appropriate sentence for your client? Your Honor, pursuant to the plea agreement, will we join those recommendations? Thank you. How much are your fees in the representation of the client? This was billed to bids at $1,000, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Mr. Watts. All right, Patrick Terrell Smith, at this time, the court will address you and I'll ask you if you have any statements that you wish to make in mitigation of punishment or anything further that you would like to present to the court. Uh, no, Your Honor, not this time. Ooh. All right, Mr. Smith, I find it at least interesting that you come to court today wearing a shirt that using a colloquial expression would be called a wife beater shirt. Uh, I'll just generally let you know that uh, the court would expect that you wear a more uh, traditional shirt for court, something a little bit more business-like than this. I realize it's still warm outside here in October, and you probably meant no disrespect, but I do find it somewhat ironic that that was the choice of dress that you made this morning to come before the court to face a charge of aggravated domestic battery. With that said, I'm also concerned, Mr. Smith, that your statement to the court earlier seemed to minimize what happened here? Uh, I, I I understand that you were not convicted of the original charge in the case, but the court did hear preliminary hearing evidence in this case and would indicate that this was a very serious incident. I certainly understand uh, the plea agreement in this case. And, and quite frankly, in all candor, the court intends to follow it. But uh, Mr. Smith, I hope that you have seen this as somewhat of a learning experience about what to do and what not to do in a situation and can avoid things like this in the future. With that said, the court will impose six months in the Butler County Jail. The court will not impose a fine in this case. Uh, the court will grant the defendant 12 months reporting probation to be supervised by the court services department. Um, he's to follow all standard conditions, including uh, the specific conditions of obtaining a domestic violence assessment from an approved provider. And I want that done within 30 days of today, at least as far as that assessment is concerned. And then the defendant shall complete a batteries intervention program or other recommended uh, program from the domestic violence assessment. He shall have no contact with the victim in this case, Ms. Simon or her children. He's to have no drugs or alcohol on probation. That is a standard condition. Report to an officer as directed, and of course, observe all laws. 
the court will be assessing a misdemeanor doctor fee, a misdemeanor probation fee. Uh, Mr. Smith, what kind of work do you do? Uh, I work for AJ's on the oil field, sir. Okay. It's full-time work then? Yes, sir. What kind of money do you make doing that? Uh, $17 an hour. And if we go within 90 miles, outside of 90 miles, they pay for a room and board if we're staying overnight at $35, I think. Does your work take you out of the state of Kansas? Uh, no, just in the state of Kansas, Your Honor. All right. Okay. Uh, the court does find that the defendant does have some financial resources to pay amounts due and owing in this case. The court will assess a bids application fee of $100 to this defendant and will uh, impose $250 in legal fees as a payment responsibility, waive any remainder. The court will also order the defendant to pay restitution to victim Simon in the amount of $864.08. Uh, the court will prioritize the uh, restitution payment over other amounts assessed in the case. You're going to need that 125. Uh, I'm also going to order the defendant to report to the Butler County Court Services Department immediately after conclusion of this hearing. You're in very close proximity to that office. Mr. Smith, do you know where it is? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You're going to need to go right over to court services from here get checked in with them and follow their directions regarding your probation requirements, including future reporting. Yes, sir. All right. To try to establish a minimum payment obligation, Mr. Smith, I'm going to require that you pay at a minimum $100 a month on these obligations that I've imposed, starting with this calendar month of October and every subsequent month until your case is paid in full. If you can pay more aggressively, I highly encourage it. Mr. Smith, so that you can get that payment requirement out of the way and perhaps even make yourself eligible for an early termination of your probation, which I hope you achieve by doing everything that you're supposed to do. All right, uh, I'm going down my list, Ms. Norris. Is there any other specific sentencing order that you were requesting from the court? Your Honor, I didn't mention earlier, um, but I would uh, request that the court assess the $100 domestic violence special program fee as well. That that $100 assessment is made by this court and is an additional payment requirement of this defendant. I'll also uh, perhaps assist the clerk's office in prioritizing payments. After the restitution to the victim, the domestic violence fee would be the next cost uh, applied to payments made by this defendant. All right, Mr. Watts, are you aware of any other sentencing orders which the court should consider at this time? I don't believe so, Your Honor. Thank you. Do you understand the court sentencing orders or do you need any clarification on them? I believe I have them, Your Honor. I, I understand them, Your Honor, yes. All right. All right. Mr. Smith, I see no reason with, with your current attitude toward the case that you can't be 100% successful on this probation if you just concentrate on it and apply yourself to meeting all of these conditions. There's no reason I can see that you should have to come back before this court on any type of sentence review. And I'll just remind you, as your attorney, I'm sure will, that you do have a six-month jail sentence hanging over you. And hopefully it'll never be necessary to review the case to see if you should actually serve any of that. Now, I will ask Ms. Norris, is there any indi any indication that he has previous jail time credit? Your Honor, I, I don't believe so, but we'll certainly check and, and make sure that the uh, journal entry reflects same. On, uh, Saturday in Does Mr. Smith believe he has jail time credit for time previously served? Your Honor is inquiring as to that. He says he went in on a Saturday and bonded out on Monday. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. If, if the county attorney's office would go ahead and just research that issue with the jail and make sure that any jail time credit he's previously earned is included in the journal entry. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. Norris. If there's nothing further then, I will say, Mr. Smith, if you'll go on over to Butler County Court Services as soon as we get done here and Mr. Watts is, is through, that'll get you started on your uh, one year reporting probation. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. There's nothing further. The Patrick Terrell Smith matter will be in recess at this time.
and this meeting may be ended for all.